Hello once again everyone and welcome back on board the VSS Literacy. We're flying through FTL, this is Vanguard of Valor, and we are going to hopefully have some fun. So, this ship is looking pretty powerful now, we've got an incredible crew, we've got a pretty powerful ship as far as systems go. The only problem is our weapons are kind of junk, so hopefully we'll be able to upgrade them soon, and maybe that's an opportunity right there. First though, we're going to need some money, so let's hop over to this spot here and see if we can't do anything about that. Is there anything here? Yes, there is. There are some pirates here. Upon completing our jump, we receive a message from them saying, Greetings and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on your way. Well, we can pay their toll of 23 scrap or reject that offer, and that's what we're going to be doing. So we're going to try and uh, probably run in there and kill them by hand. We'll try and shoot that rock with a missile. I'll show him what's what. Now, if we can kill this Zoltan before he can get back over to us, we shall be pretty well set up. We should be able to dodge that rocket with our cloak, yes. Hmm, this could be a bit of a tricky situation to fight through. Although, we'll have to see. Their low fight skill on an NG shouldn't make that too bad, and that rock's gonna die in a second, which should bring the Zoltan over. Yes, it does. Alright, so let's see if we can kill this Zoltan before that missile goes off. That would be very nice if we could. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, just in time. Now that the ship has been emptied of hostiles, we search it, finding a prisoner who offers to join our crew, unfortunately. <laughs> we get 45 scrap and another mantis. We don't need any more mantis. Sorry, Kara, you're going to have to go. Dismissed. Alright, let's beam back on board our ship. There we go. And heal ourselves up. Now, what can we do with that money? How about we buy ourselves another level of weapon control? That sounds like a good plan to me. That means we can power up all of our big guns. So let's try it. Nope, we need one more energy bar first. So I guess we turn off the med bay? Probably best. We'll take one bar out of our med bay, turn on the halberd beam. So this is probably going to be our standing loadout for now. Two missiles, halberd beam. Which means that if we get into a fight, we can use whatever we need. And if we need the ion blast, it only takes four seconds to charge anyway, so it won't be too big of a deal if we have to charge it without the weapon pre-igniter. But we want the long charge thing going from the beginning. So, let's jump onwards. See if we can make a little bit more money here to use in the store. Anything for us at this location? We detect a rebel scout on an attack approach to a small refueling outpost. Their weapons are charged, but they're not yet firing. We intervene to defend the outpost, and they say, we don't know who you are, but no one defies the rebel fleet. As they move in to engage, we laugh. Oh, maybe not quite laugh. <laughs> they have some uh, anti-missile drones here, so we turn off our missiles, turn on the ion blast, and this will be a great time to test out our awesomely new upgraded systems. We'll ion blast their shields out, and then hopefully be able to... Ha oh, we missed the first shot. That's lame. <laughs> hopefully be able to halberd beam them into an early grave. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's not an auto-fire. That might be something we want to turn on. Derp! Without auto-fire, it turns out it's a lot harder to use that ion blast since it fires so fast. It's just not a lot of fun. But with the ion blast auto-fire, you don't even have to think about it. You just turn it on and let things die. Alright, so let's see here. They're going to take two more hits before that shield goes off. Yes, they are, and then we can fry them. At least, hopefully. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we're taking one hit now. There we go. Now the shields are off. That's okay, though. They're all nice and distracted. We are going to probably take a rocket in a second. We'll leave our halberd beam on there to fire. Ah, dodge that rocket, too. Thank you very much. And halberd beam. You can murder them anytime you please. Thank you very much. And down they go. It's hard to complain when you're hitting five rooms with a laser. The ship breaks apart and we salvage two fuel, a drone part, and sixty scrap from the wreckage. The outpost hails us, as well, saying, Those pompous bastards expected free service just because they defeated the Federation. They offer us three fuel and fifty-four scrap in return. Not bad, we're up to 127 now. Let's jump over here and then back this way. See if we can't get enough money here to make something good happen at the store. We find a rebel automated ship nearby. It does not engage and seems to be patrolling around a long-range sensor station. Well, we could try and beam directly onto the station and avoid detection, but we want the money from killing this guy, so we're going to attack them to get it. Also, they cloaked, and our cloak is still uncharged. That's bad planning on my part. You never want to jump in with an uncharged cloak if you can help it. Let it recharge, otherwise you might have this kind of situation happen, and you might feel the pain in a second. Dodge, thank you. Alright, that missile misses. Although I was a little bit too early, so that laser blast is still going to hit us, and something's probably going to do some damage in there. 
Hopefully, though, we'll be able to fry through their shields. Uh, is that going to hit four rooms? Not quite. Let's arrange it so it does. Help, help, Albert Beam. There you go. Albert Beam right in the corner of the room. That should do four. Z -z 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 Apparently, I missed the weapons room with that. That's the lamest thing. Alright, their ion bomb missed, thankfully. Although those lasers did not. Ion Blast is still targeting shields. Good, good. Halberd Beam, hit the weapons, please. That was the system I really wanted you to hit in the first place. I'm trying to get greedy here and missing out on the things that really do matter. Alright, Halberd Beam up those weapons. Uh oh. Uh oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, thankfully it missed. Also, they're cloaked out, which could be very bad for our ability to actually hurt them. If their shields come back online because the Ion Beam wears off. Uh oh. They're gonna zonk out our weapons. No! That's gonna turn all our weapons off. Yes, it did. Wow. That's the worst. Okay, um, hmm. Ah, I should have dodged that. I don't know why I didn't. This sucks. <laughs> this is definitely less than ideal. Dodge, please. Thank you. I wasted that dodge because I should not have dodged that ion bomb. But, honestly, I was just worried I was going to get hit in the face again. And they've cloaked out too, so I guess now is a good time to use it. Pair up there, guys. You're actually gonna head back to the med bay, and here comes the missile. Come to make us regret healing. Ow. There goes our oxygen and our engines. Ion blast, start hitting their shields. Go, go, go. It's too bad it missed that weapons slot with our halberd beam last time. Here comes another missile. They're firing really fast, and this one also hit us. We are taking lots of damage. Wow. Okay. Uh, not cool. Not cool. We're gonna hit them right across the weapons. We're gonna cloak out. Okay. And they are invisible again, which makes our ion blast wear off. Jerks. All I'm trying to do is kill you in peace. <laughs> but no. No, there's no murdering in peace. Here comes another missile. Thankfully it misses as well. Alright, one more ion blast should turn their shields off, and this last shot should kill them. Go, Halberd Beam, go! Man, that sucked. We took a beating there. Hopefully this gives a good reward. 28 scrap? That's pitiful. We also got a map of the surrounding area. Ugh. Alright, let's jump back to the store. Oh, it looks like there was an asteroid field or something right in front of us. Good thing we came back this way. A ship engineer has shut up, has shut up a small shop has set up a small shop here, and also wants to sell us drones. I don't want drones, guy. Alright, let's buy... We don't need any fuel. Let's buy his rockets, I guess, because we might want those later. There's nothing really else we need to do. And I don't want to spend that much money on those repairs, so I'm going to hold on to my money for now. Let's see. Can we upgrade something to make us a bit more survivable with this money? We've got our weapons online. Hmm... We could go for better cloaking. For now, we'll hold off. We'll see what's up in this nebula. Anything there? Doesn't look like there's anything. As we wait for FDL to drive to charge, we half expect to be ambushed at any moment. But no attack comes. Alright then, let's jump over this way. Bloop. I'm happy with not getting murdered. We find another Rebel Automated Scout floating near this beacon. Despite its pristine condition, it appears to be deactivated. We can attempt to download its data stores, or we can just scrap it, but that's never worthwhile. Let's download those data stores. We pull a fuel, a drone part, and a 31 scrap off without being detected. We also get more map data. Lovely. Thanks, guys. Alright. We got a distress beacon. We got another thing here. Straight to the distress beacon, or we fight these guys? Um, let's fight these guys, too. What happens here? We find some Zoltan. They receive a message from them saying, Greetings and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on your way. We can pay their toll of 22 scrap or reject that offer and mess them up. And that's exactly what we're going to do. <laughs> they will regret this decision. Absolutely they will. Alright, they have a human and a mantis. Only two crewmen on board. They also have a pile of weapons, but that doesn't look like it's going to be too much of a problem. These guys are full health still. Yes, they are. As soon as we knock, start knocking out their shields, we'll be able to take out their med bay, which is going to be a problem shortly. So we're going to keep firing the ion blast at their shields, and once we get those down... Actually, you know what? We should probably teleport on board beforehand. Let's do that. We're going to teleport into the helm now and start fighting these guys, so that by the time they run, we'll already have knocked out their... Uh oh hang on, I'm taking hits. And we're missing their shields every shot here. 
And that's unfortunate. Come on, guys. One more hit. And you missed again. Okay, let's halberd beam out that system as soon as he gets in there. Like so. Good. Damaged it. Well, we didn't, didn't, didn't really do enough damage to it, though. That's unfortunate. Let's chase him down so he doesn't get to heal up. Oh, I see how this is. I see how this is. This is one of those situations where we can't actually get in that room because of the fact that the doors are now upgraded on this ship. Hopefully our halberd beam will be able to do some damage to them, break the rest of that. Yes, it did. Good. Now we break in there like I intended. We should be able to kill that human at least. He should have nowhere to go. Yeah, he's down. And now the Mantis is back up to full health, I believe, so we might have a hard time beating him. We're going to turn off our halberd beam, because we really don't want to be firing that at our own guys. And you know what? We're actually going to teleport them out and heal them before we have any more... No, 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 no. Interesting. Apparently when they're trying to get through a door and you hit teleport out, it does not actually teleport, and it does not use up your teleport timer either. That is interesting and good to know. We are going to take power back into our engines, thank you. Take power out of our cloak, I guess, and put it into the med bay to heal them up faster. Heal them up, guys. And our helm just took a hit, so we're going to dodge with that bit of the cloak we have left. Not much cloak, but it's enough for now. Alright, get back out there, take power out of there, put it into there. Teleport back in. Oh, they fixed their med bay. Alright, sorry, bud, you get to face a giant laser. Bzzzt. Ooh! They offer us 8 missiles, 2 drones, 76 scrap, and an advanced FTL navigation augment. I would love to say yes to that, so I guess I will. The, the, the problem is the augment's gonna get wasted because I already have 3, but 76 scrap, 8 missiles? Okay, I'll accept your offer. You got lucky this time, friend. We could take that, it could be useful in the final fight, but you know what? I think we're gonna leave it behind. Yeah. It's probably more useful to have these things. So we're going to accept that to drop lose our FTL navigation. It's too bad navigate uh, augments can't go in the, in the hold if you can't use them. That would be quite nice. King, you took a lot of damage. You're going to go get heal, uh, healed up. Fen, you also took some damage. You go get healed up too. Jax also has some damage, and so does Tolkien, but Tolkien's going to be okay. Stephen King, once you heal up, you're going to get back to your job. Fen, you get back there now. Jax, you will heal up. Stephen King, walk slowly back over to your position. Alright, and you can walk over here. Alright, we're actually pretty well set up here. Pretty well set up. I think we will... Jump to this distress beacon. What do we have here? We have 250 scrap waiting in our bay, too. We find the source of the distress call. A small research station. And once again, it's been set on fire. And once again, we're going to send our raw crew member in. In case you haven't been watching the other episodes, we've seen this like seven times now. Our rock soldier tears through, lays out fire suppressant, and the blaze starts to blaze down. I have contact the survivors. They offer us 70 scrap and stealth weapons. Hmm, that could be a good one. That might be worth swapping something out for. They offer us their sincere gratitude and a generous reward of 70 scrap as well. Alright. So we're going to take our stealth weapons. Rock plating is pretty good, but it doesn't actually help keep our systems intact. It just makes our hull a little bit more durable. So we're going to swap stealth weapons for rock plating, I think. I'd rather have the shield charge booster than rock plating, honestly, because this at least makes it easier for us to defend against the hefty amount of laser attacks that are going to be coming at us soon. So we're going to want that, no, for no doubt about it. Alright, so we can jump here or to the store. Before we do that... Let's buy some upgrades. Let's upgrade our shields, please. Thank you. We can even afford to just buy those upgrades outright. We'll buy our stealth level up as well. Put those in there. Take energy out of here. And out of... Um, we want a power of level 4 shields, too. So I guess we'll take another one out of the... Hmm. Teleporter? Put it in shields? I think that'll be okay. Hopefully we'll be able to buy another layer soon. I probably should have saved some of that money to repair damage at the store, but you know what? We're just going to have to make do without it. I'm going to jump over here to this distress beacon, where we find the automated rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost. Let's intervene and defend that outpost. That automated ship moves in to engage us, but luckily for us, we happen to have a whole pile of lasers to fight them with. I guess it's a good thing we took energy out of there, because we're not going to need our teleporter on this fight. Come on, guys. Don't let him hit you. Actually, they haven't going to have a hard time doing any damage to us unless that big laser hits us, because they have two beam drones, a beam weapon, a single-shot laser, 
That's a whole lot of nothing as far as this goes. Also, this is a good opportunity for us to make use of our new uh, stealth weapon system because... Zzz, down you go there, boys! Otherwise, they would have been able to uh, see us a lot faster here. We can happily keep their shields disabled without worrying about our s stealth system getting wasted. We'll fry them again with a halberd beam and then one more shot should kill them. And they literally have no chance of doing any damage to us before we kill them. <laughs> Ion Blast 2. I've used it a couple times in these videos now because it is just amazing. Alright, and kill him with a halberd beam, please. Z -z -z -z. Down they go. I guess I could, should have probably kept the hull beam as well, but I don't know if I'd have enough money to power it. The ship breaks apart and we salvage a missile, a drone part, and 30 scrap from the wreckage. The outpost hails us as well after the scouts destroyed, saying thanks for the help. These scouts have been harassing us non-stop. Take this on the house, offering us two missiles, a drone part, and 57 scrap. Alright, it's not bad. Now we need to get out of here, otherwise we are going to be in a bad way. We only have four fuel left, it's one, two, three, and then jumping out. So, I guess we'll do just that. One, two, three, and jump out of here. What's over here? We see a small space station outfitted with hundreds of repair drones. We receive an automated message saying that they don't know who we are and don't care, but this is the right place for some ship repair. Alright. So, they're offering us to do some fairly cheap repairs. We don't want to buy a max level because when we get to the next sector, I think they give us some repairs and some fuel. So I'm going to buy the 10 damage for 20 scrap offer. No point getting more than that anyway, it'd just be a waste. Alright, which means if we have to fight anything in the last two, yeah, we don't. We'll be okay anyway. Let's jump to this unvisited location and see what's over here. Here we have a civilian space station with heavy damage, offering to sell us some scrap in exchange for some drone parts. Oh yes, happily we'll do that. I'll sell you six drone parts for 24 scrap. Alright, 111 left. Not bad. We'll buy our final power bar, because that'll be useful. Put that into our teleporter for the time being. And uh, jump to the exit. See what we have to have in over here. Alright. We've arrived at the Long Range Beacon, where we find an NG re research vessel trying to fend off a Mantis ship. As we move in to engage, the Mantis scan us, see we're powerful, and run for their lives. The engine offer us a anti-ship beam drone 1 schematic, which is great, but we don't need it and we're not going to be able to use it, as well as 27 scrap. Eh, thanks for the free stuff there, guys. Hard to complain about that. Now, we have to spend a little bit of this money, because we're going to be coming up on the final area any second now, so we're going to buy our advanced doors, so boarders are going to have a hard time in the final areas. We're going to upgrade our piloting, so one shot doesn't take us out, and we're going to put another point into oxygen as well, so one shot there doesn't knock it out either. And we're going to jump to the last stand. Here we go. Alright. We arrive at the heart of the last Federation fleet. Our access codes once again get us past security and a direct feed to the capital ship's war room. Admiral Tully speaks first, saying, What is the meaning of this? Who are you? We explain our mission. Our explanation is met with murmurs of cynicism and disbelief among the officers, and told General Terzel of the NG Brigade speaks up. Intel suggests potential counter to rebel technology. Risk all or save none. We explain the weakness of the enemy fleet, the rebel flagship. Alright, Terzel, you sound funny. But Tully responds, It's settled, then. The rebels will be here in a matter of moments. We will do what we can to hold off their warships, but you must succeed in destroying this flagship. We will refuel your ship now, and our stations will offer help wherever possible. Good luck! He gives us ten fuel, which is what we needed, and sends us out to go fight. Alright, so we've got some space we can fly around in, and we've got some other space we can do other things in. I'm going to go back to what I was talking about before, turning off the Artemis, I mean, turning off the Iron Blast and turning on our missiles if we need them. And let's walk our way over there. He's pretty far away, so it's going to take us a while. We don't really need the repair stations, though, because we've got plenty of missiles, and everything we need is pretty much self-contained. The destruction in the distance is almost awe-inspiring. However, we're dragged back to reality, as sensors indicate we're under attack. Alright, they got an anti-drone 2, which is pretty much the most irritating thing, because it's going to knock out our Ion Blasts. Um, hmm. This is going to be hard. We can try and jump on board ship, but we're not going to be able to take out their shields, I don't think. Let's try turning off those, turning on the ion blast. Ion blasting out their shields. We're not going to be able to, though, but we'll try anyway. And let's just try and board them and see what happens. Let's board their helm. No, that's not going to work. They're going to... We can't do anything to these guys. The fact that they have the med bay, that guy to knock out our ion blasts, a pile of weapons, means we're basically just going to have to sit here. Eh, let's ion blast him anyway and see if it works. 
shouldn't, but it might. Yeah, no, it's not gonna work. Alright. Turn that off, turn those on. And cloak. We're just gonna hide. Hopefully our engines can charge up and we'll be able to jump onwards. There's no point in trying to fight these guys like this because, well, we, we can't. <laughs> so, we're just gonna not try. I'm cool with that. Hopefully the final ship doesn't have one of those, otherwise it's gonna give us a real pain in the butt. Alright, let's jump out of here. Both of those sectors are about to be taken over? No, excuse me, I need to go to there. <laughs> I need to go to at least one of those. Ugh. Alright. The rebel fleet has found us, and a nearby scout turns to engage. We must flee before their cruisers open fire, they say. Thankfully, they're beaming on board our ship, meaning, meaning our mantises can happily murder them. They're not quite a high level, I'd hope, but at least they're mantises, so they do have that n innate higher firepower. We're gonna Artemis missile out their weapons, I think. And then we're gonna turn off our missiles, turn on the ion blast, and start blasting away those shields. Bam! There we go. It took out one of their useless weapons. One of their most useless weapons. And also, this missile's gonna hurt us if it hits anything important. Thankfully, it missed. They teleported back to try and get to safety, which is not what we want them to be doing. Hopefully, we'll be able to take out that med bay before they get too healed up. Because that would be nice. Halberd beam, I want it. Oh no, I didn't mean to turn you off! I hate when that happens. It's a great system that if the game is paused and you accidentally uh, right click on something, it doesn't lose its charge. However, if it is not paused, it immediately turns off, and you have to turn it back on and wait for the whole thing to recharge again. Silly system, if you ask me. Alright, let's fry that med bay and then teleport directly into it. Make him regret fighting us. Z -z -z -z. There we go. Take power out of the med bay, back into the teleporter, jump in there, and fight them in the face. Alright, nothing you can do now, guys. Not a thing. Actually, we turn off our halberd beams so we don't accidentally burn our crew members to death. Once they kill those humans, we should have more humans to come fight us. It's never a dull moment. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to halberd beam across this room in an effort to turn off their rockets. That didn't quite work as planned, but, you know, it's better than nothing. Better than nothing. As long as they don't hit anything important here, which they did not, they missed. Ow, they're actually quite strong. We're taking some hits. If we can kill that one more guy, good. Okay, now we're going to run away. Zoop! That was close there, guys. Go heal up, please. You have, like, seven health left each. Yep. Oh, there's no power in there yet, so that's not good. Let's get some power out of, uh, something. Out of shields, I guess, because we don't need those at the moment. Put it into the med bay. Okay, now the important weapons are offline, so we can turn off the halberd beam. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Heal these fine gentlemen up and teleport them back in to kill that guy before he can repair that system. Teleport him in there. Stop the repairs. Oh, they got it just in time. The jerks. Yeah, jerks. Okay, we're gonna move out of that bay. Hit it with another halberd beam. Just one shot of the beam. There we go. It's now broken, and they have nowhere to run for health now. Okay, we're pretty well equipped here. We can handle them. And down they go. There's no time to salvage the enemy ship, because, unlucky for us, it turned into an enemy space just before we got there. So we have to jump away again. Oh, well. At least we killed them the fun way. Let's come in here and heal up. And then we'll have to move those health beacons back into the shields, because we're going to need those certainly much more. Plus, we get experience on our murder friends, and that's always good. Did he actually level up? Yeah, he did. He gets 10% more damage. Lovely. Turn off the med bay, back in there. Alright, so now we are going to jump onwards. Let's jump to this... Oh, they took over that repair beacon. Uh, well, we're going to jump to this repair beacon, because that'll get us closest to here. So, here we go. To the repair beacon we go. <sighs> Chatter on the comm suggests the nearby Federation base is outfitted with a repair station. When we forward our mission priority, they quickly help repair our ship and give us some supplies. Five fuel, four missiles, and five drone parts. Nothing we need, unfortunately, but you know, that's okay. Turn off the ion blast, turn on the missiles, because we're going to want those to have preloaded when we get into that fight. We're going to jump over to here, I think. Yes, yes, yes. And fight the flagship. So, there's going to be a couple of interesting things, or at least hopefully interesting things, going on. We're going to teleport our Mantis into their rocket launcher and destroy the crew member in there and kill that system. The faster it dies, the faster we'll survive, or the more longer we'll survive. We found the Rebel flagship. We have to destroy it if we want to have any chance of the Federation surviving. Also, that's unfortunate, because that just gives us time to preload these. Which I could have done without having the weapon pre-igniter, but yeah, well. Alright, here they are. So we're going to try and fire 
pair of missiles at their shields to speed up that process. We are also going to beam our crew directly into the missile room. And... We are then going to turn the missiles off, turn our ion blast on, equip it... Oh, we missed one. And start firing at the, west the shields. The sooner we can get those rockets broken, the better. Here they come, so we cloak. Alright, break those missiles, boys. Alright, that means we can hit them now, so we're going to fire a beam weapon right across the shields again. If I can hit across both sides, that would be nice. Just so we can keep the shields in pain and damage all those crew members. Lovely. Their rockets are going down. The faster those things are down, the better. And... Uh, come on now, come on now. We're visible again, we don't want to get hit. You hurry up and break it. There we go. Good job, guys. You can teleport back to safety now. Uh, when you're visible. There we go. Alright, you took some damage, so that's okay, though. Also, they managed to get their shields to teleport back to life, because they hid like cowards. So we'll have to wait a couple seconds now before our ions can do enough damage to them to turn them back off. Also, our shields are quite badly ioned as well. That's not good for us. So let's send one of those points to reactivate the health bay, heal up our mantises, and then we'll jump back in and start murdering people. We don't want to kill all the crew, though. That's important. You definitely don't want to kill all the crew. Otherwise, it suddenly gets a lot harder to do your job here. So, the AI takes over, and it's a little bit more clever than I'd like. Are we going to teleport back in and start murdering them? Yeah, sure. Alright. Let's cloak out so the ions don't hit us again. That's not much fun. Turn on our shields back up to a higher level. Oh, they cloaked out too, so I guess that was convenient timing. Of course, now their shields are going to be back online like a bunch of jerks, but you know what? That's okay. We'll have a chance to halberd them, hopefully, before they get fully recharged. Nope. We did not. Ion Blast hit those shields right now. Right now. And we're going to teleport and hit their stealth system, I think. Yeah. If you want to come fight us in here, feel free, but we're going to try and destroy your stealth system while we're at it. Actually, it looks like they're pretty good at melee fighters, too, surprisingly enough. That's kind of unfortunate. But, you know what? Not good enough. They're just running for help, so we can damage this melee... <laughs> melee system? Stealth system. Or maybe we can't. They're using that cloak a lot. We might want to activate some rockets to do some damage to it, because otherwise we're never going to be able to take these guys down. And they can just run back to their health station at the moment. Alright, we need to uh, have that reappear right about now, so I can heal my guys up, please. Thank you. Back in the health bay. Lovely. We are going to turn off... Um, nothing for the moment. Our invasion force is not going to be the most effective for the time being, because we don't actually want to kill that guy in this gun. And the other ones don't really have much purpose at the moment. Especially because they break off later on. So we're going to heal our guys up. And we're going to try and just, uh, rocket out their stealth, I guess. That's probably the best course of action here. Turn on the missiles. Actually, no, turn off the halberd beam, I think. Nah, nah. Ion blast recharges so fast, there's no point. We'll charge up some missiles, blast out their stealth system if we can, and then that should prevent them from dodging our ability to keep them EMP'd. Should is the operative word there. We'll have to wait and see. Alright, guys. Charge up those weapons, blast them in there, and we should be good to go. Our invasion force isn't going to do much here, but that's okay. Double blast them in the stealth with missiles. One of them missed, but one of them hit. Good. Now, we are going to turn off the missiles again, turn on the ion blast. Start messing these guys up. Halbert, what? 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 Okay, turn that off. It's not powered. Why is it still aiming? Good. Okay. That was weird. Halberd beam right through there, I think, is a good course of action once we get it charged up and broken the shields. This is a pain in the butt, though, because they're going to start repairing that thing right away. I wonder why they have someone standing in these rooms. It's not like there's anything in there worth doing anything with. Alright, though. Hey! I, your, your system is actively broken! <laughs> how did you tell... how did you cloak? It's actively broken. And we missed. Fancy that. Okay. You know what? If you want to be killed by missiles, I will just kill you with missiles. That's what it's looking like. The cloak makes the Ion Blast too frustrating to use. We're not going to try using it anymore. We are just literally going to punch them in the face with deadly missiles. Alright. 
cloak out, so they can't even shoot us. Make them have a taste of their own medicine. Uh, yeesh. Alright. Artemis, out. Something important. Um, let's break that ion gun for the time being, because I don't like that thing very much. Hit that, and we're going to hull missile this empty piece of hull, so it does lots of damage. And they cloak right at the perfect time to make it miss. Thanks for nothing there, jerks. Thankfully, we do have a pretty hefty supply of missiles, and we're not really too worried about wasting them for the time being, because the next fight's not going to be able to use them anyway until the drone system gets broken down, so might as well punch them in the face while we got them. Alright, there goes that. That took a hit, wow. And hull missile, take them out, please. Come on, there we go. Okay, Artemis, you're not firing. We're going to wait till we can fire another hull missile and take them out in a single shot. No point in wasting three missiles when we could only have to use one. Or two missiles, I suppose, and you only have to use one. Now, they should be coming at us soon with some more firepower, but I, I forgot this first stage doesn't actually have a whole lot of firepower once you take out those missiles. Because, sure, the lasers can hurt. Sure, the beam weapons, uh, the ions can be frustrating, and sure, these can be a pain in the butt, too. Oh, we missed! Really? Way to, way to ruin my whole thing about saying only need to use one missile instead of two. You miss anyway, so it's definitely going to take at least two. Ugh. Anyway, this guy doesn't actually have that much firepower. The next day... Oh my god! You did not just do that again. Okay. That's not cool. You cloaked out again just when I fired my hull missile. You guys are jerks. That's what you are. You're just trolling now. You're just trolling. Alright, recharge the hull missile, wait till after they cloak, and then shoot at them. It doesn't seem like they want to play fair about this whole thing. Alright, here we go. You gonna cloak about now? Give it three, two, one, zzzp. There it goes. <laughs> Ugh, jerks. That, their, their cloak is way too strong. I guess that's because it is their special weapon that is what makes them powerful on this stage. But still, come on. Now you kill them, don't miss. There we go. Bam! There goes a third of their ship. Just as we gain the upper hand, they find a way to make an FTL jump. We gain two fuel, a missile, and 22 scrap, but we have to keep on their tail, otherwise we'll find ourselves in a bad way. So we can't really buy any upgrades now, because we've already spent a whole pile of money. But I'm okay with that. I'm entirely okay with that. Once that recharges, we'll have our shields back up to full. Good, good, good. We don't want to jump in before those are charged. And next wave is the drone wave. So let's go break their missiles and make their day no fun. Where'd they go? They're going over there? That's a weird location to jump to. But we'll follow them and make them regret it. Here we go! Bloop. Alright. The VSS Literacy versus the Rebel Flagship. Let's see what they can do. We chase them down, discover they're still heavily damaged, but they've redirected considerable power to drones. Ah, good, it's a level 1, which means our missiles aren't going to be useful, so we can click those back off, but our Ion Blast absolutely will be. Ion Blast Halberd Beam should do most of the work here, we're going to teleport our Mantises on board and start breaking up their missile system again. Oh, should have waited maybe till the boarding party left, but that's okay. We're going to send Mafan and our NG in there to fight him until our guys get back so that he doesn't break into our engine room and start doing real damage. And once they get their... Oh, come on, you can just strike before I used to fire? That would be nice. I'm not sure if you will, though. Oh, there's the power surge, so we're going to activate our cloak in about 3, 2, 1 right now. You're going to run away and heal, but I'm going to leave Mafan in there, because he is pretty much immune to suffocation damage. We're going to teleport our mantises back out of their rockets, because the rocket system is destroyed. We're going to take some power out of shield, since we're invisible. Power up our medbay, so that our NG doesn't actually stay dead. And we should be more or less okay now. Their shields are going down, so we'll be able to halberd beam them to death in a second. Mafan is going to run away, and we're going to send our mantis in to fill finish off the job. Go heal up there, Mafan. Alright, that's him dead. You're not going to fix that, you can't fix anything. Engie, go fix that. We're going to vent some oxygen in there. And they send another drone, this time into our cloaking system. Jerks. Alright, Mantis, this looks like a job for you. Go in there and fight that guy. Also, here comes the power surge. I thought we dodged it, but apparently they got another one right away. We're going to try and hit as many rooms as possible, so we're going to go right across here for that four-room spread. Fire some lasers. We may actually... Oh, ouch. Ow, 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 ow. Bad, bad, bad. I forgot we had our shields not up to level four. Come on now, that's not cool. 
Ow, we're taking so much damage here. Wow. Also, this Mantis is going to die if I don't run him away right now. Get him out of there. This one is still full of health. Still at health. Wow. I'm amazing at English. Alright, that's that fixed. You, get over there. You, get in the med bay before you die. You, fix that. Although you're suffocating, you might not be able to fix that in time. Lovely. Also, somehow we've been missing a whole bunch of our ion blasts, so we're not going to fire that yet. We may actually have to cloak out in a second, otherwise we're going to take some more hits and die. Who's dying? Who's dying? Okay, NG's dying, I think. You get back out there where it's safe. Power surge detected. Time to use our cloak. Zit. Please, hit them! Stop missing! Jeez. Okay, you get in there and fix that, because you're pretty much immune to asphyxiation, I believe. Also, why are you not healing? Turn the medbay on, thank you. Alright, repair that. Hole in the, in the cloaking device. Thankfully, we managed to destroy them without it actually killing us. Alright, you get in there and fix that hole in the ship. Close those doors, because we don't want asphyxiation to be happening here for no reason. Get in there. You fix that. Actually, you know what? We're going to send our Mantis in here to help support him. We are missing so much here, it's really frustrating. We need to hit those shields offline, guys, otherwise we are going to die. That's just how it's going to go. They're firing another drone at us, thankfully, because they're so nice. Oh, so nice. This one is going to go attack that room now. Lovely. Another hole in our hull. Engie, you go fix those doors. Mantises, you go fight that guy. And Mafan is slowly suffocating to death, so we're going to go heal him up before he dies. We need to do more damage, so we're going to try and take out these rooms here this time for another 4 damage, but this time we should be hitting the drone room which is important, because that should make them a little bit less powerful. That's something, at least. I think I actually disabled that drone. Alright. Now, you know what? We're going to cloak out here, because we can. So they can't be hitting us. We just missed them again, though. If you miss twice in a row, I'm going to be so angry. Good. Okay. Hit their drone bay again with this next laser. That should basically make them useless. Mafan is healed up, so he's going to go fix that damage. You're going to head back over to here, and our murder crew are going to come back over here. Alright. Alright. They have one health left. We only have to hit them once. Fortunately, we have to hit them once. Come on, guys. Don't be getting hit now. Don't be getting hit. I'm not cool with that. I'm not cool with that. We only have to hit them once. Halberd Beam. And they're down. Halberd Beam took them out, no problem. Whoa. Just as they begin the upper hand once again, they make a new FTL jump. We need three fuel, a missile, and another 21 scrap before they get away. That hurt quite a bit, actually. Wow. A lot of systems got damaged there. Problem was, we kept missing with our ion blasts. It slowed us down quite a bit. So we're going to take this chance to heal up, and then we'll chase after them, and hopefully give them the killing blow. I'd be very surprised if we don't manage to kill them here, because honestly, we're pretty darn powerful at this point. Pretty well equipped. The next stage has that overshield, which is going to give us a bit of trouble, but given that we have a halberd beam and an ion blast too, that's going to be pre-ignited. We should be able to do a lot of damage to their overshield at the very beginning. Shouldn't be too bad. You back on your system, everyone else is pretty much healed up. Turn off the health bay, turn on the teleporter bay, because we're going to need that more. Look at our ship. We could buy another, another stage of piloting, but it doesn't give us any advantage. I think piloting is my least favorite system in this entire game, because there is literally no reason to upgrade it unless you have a ship that has a whole pile of teleporting people. Because then you would want, 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 blah, 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 then you might want to have half percent evasion with your entire crew on board enemy ship. But that's okay. We're going to spend our points on piloting level 3, just to make ourselves that much more survivable. And now we're going to chase them down. Here we go, Federation. This is your last chance. Time to surrender. The VSS Literacy is here to teach you to read. We're not certain how it keeps fighting with half of itself broken off. It's transferred power to the teleporter as well as some kind of super weapon. Oh yeah, that's right, this is the wave where they're going to be teleporting on board our ship anyway, so we're going to need to keep our mantises here to keep fighting them off. And there's only going to be two of them, it looks like, but still nothing we want to be fighting. Alright, so we're going to halberd beam right across. There's no one good to shoot anywhere with a halberd beam. Maybe get three? Eh, whatever. Good enough. We'll fight these guys off, then we'll go in and murder their rockets. If we cloak now, we should be able to dodge their rockets and their first power surge, which is what we were looking to do. And there go those guys. And we actually leveled up one of our fighting skill, too. 
No. Beth just became a max level combat person. You guys go heal up. We're gonna dodge this giant laser blast in a second. Heal up, please. There we go. Awesome. Their overshields are down, so we should be able to teleport in and take out their rocket launcher now. Oh, they teleported one more guy at us. That's surprising. I didn't think they'd bother. Alright, but we need to take those rockets out right now, so we're gonna do that before we do anything else. Turn this off. Teleport them into the rocket launcher. We're gonna send Mothon over here to deal with this guy. Hopefully that should work out. And now our halberd beam is recharged. We're gonna turn it off so we don't waste it against their shields, because in one or two seconds we should be able to do some actual damage with it. It would suck if we wasted it early. Oh, they are getting the fire rockets. Come on, Mantises, you did your job wrong. Halberd beam right across some vital systems. Like so. Ow, they hit us, but it didn't do anything important, so we're okay. We're actually also going to send our NG in to give some fire support. Not that it'll make a big difference, but it should make sure that guy dies and not us. And there go the rockets. Come on, come on, come on. There go the rockets, right? Come on, you guys are slow. There we go. You almost managed to... You're almost too slow to get it before we manage to break everything. All right. That guy died. Good, good, good. Muff on. You're going to get back in here. Engie, you're just going to... Actually, hang on. Um, you guys are going to go try and put those fires out with the Engie's help. We really don't want to be burning to death in here. Of course, with our super advanced mega doors, the odds of that are pretty slim. Especially because they're going to die in about four seconds when we fire a halberd beam. Ready? Steady? Victory! Oh, it tastes delicious. That victory does. Mm-mm, good. Thanks to the valiant effort of the VSS Literacy and her successful crew, Tolkien, Asimov, King, Fen, Jax, Mafan, Beth, and Kazak, their old flagship was destroyed, throwing their fleet into chaos and ensuring Federation victory. Very nice, guys. Very nice indeed. Alright, we're not going to watch the credits, that's boring for this. But we did get a new high score, with our score of 4,136. Not bad. Probably something to do with the fact that we've had like 15 crew in this mission. Let's check our stats. Here we go. A new lowest high score. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. The VSS Literacy. Most crew hired, 13. Awesome. Probably never going to beat that, because there's no reason for me to ever want that many crew intentionally. Very nice. We didn't get any other new records, though, unfortunately, but you know what? That's okay. No new achievements here. It is our ship best. The VSS Pyroclast was my next best effort, but literacy seems to be above and beyond. It's too bad we didn't get any of these achievements either. We got pretty close to the burning one, but not quite. Uh, well. Alright, well, that was pretty fantastic. Whew, another victory under our belts. We defeated them with a rock ship Class A, which I have to say, definitely one of my least favorites. So, thank you all for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor, playing another episode of FTL on board the VSS Literacy. If you liked the episode, don't forget to like the episode. Once again, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.